hey hey everyone welcome back to my channel i am your host alexis monet and before we get started make sure you all hit that like share and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video okay everyone so it does look like ice spice has finally come out to address those leaked text messages from her ex-best friend that did expose her where ice spice was allegedly talking bad about nikki and in those messages ice spice did refer to nikki as delusional and ungrateful and did say nikki tried to get ice spice to sign a 360 deal and in ice's most recent interview she did seemingly address these messages and said they were fake so go ahead and check out what ice had to say when you're as famous as you are you have to deal with certain like downsides like when like stuff gets leaked like text messages or whatever that aren't necessarily real yeah. how do you like keep the blinders on and not acknowledge like the internet bull like, cause it's gotta be tough. It gotta be. It's, you know, sometimes I'm tempted to like engage with certain things. Like, let me clear this shit up. Yeah, and so, but then I also realized um, you're gonna just give it legs to like grow and like run with. Right. Yeah. And I think sometimes you can over explain yourself a little bit. So I just kind of like to um, like just focus on what I can control and like what really is like, what really matters, you know right. what I mean? Now, in my opinion, I can understand Ice not wanting to address something that isn't true. But at the same time, if you and Nikki are cool, why not come out and say those messages aren't real? Or I said that at that time, but I don't feel the same now. And it doesn't look good that she's only addressing this because she is about to come out with a new album. And she does want to gain the support of the Barbs again because those new records aren't selling like the ones from last year and her buzz has died down but i do believe this is strategic and ice is doing this for a reason along with dressing up like nikki most recently but the timing is everything and i do feel like she waited a little bit too late to finally address this now moving along to other nikki news now nikki had to recently come online to check miss deb antony now if you do not know who deb is deb is waka flocka's mother but also his manager and at one point in time she also did manage nikki and they did have some issues before but they did reconcile and Deb has been around Nikki during the Pink Friday 2 era and has joined Nikki while she has been on tour. However, most recently Nikki did have to check her because Deb did an interview where she did say that she tried to get Little Kim and Nikki to link up and Nikki did not want Deb to do this on her behalf. And Deb did speak about this during the interview so go ahead and check this out. Would you ever be willing to try to get her to sit down with possibly Cardi B and Lil' Kim to try to mend their differences? I would love to see that. I would love to see them all come I, together. I think that we all would love to see that, but people would have to be willing to to do that. And to be perfectly honest with you, I, she's going to me for even saying this, but I did reach out to Kim. Okay. Okay. okay? And so... I think that now Nikki did come out to address Deb via Twitter and she did go on to say this Deb isn't it funny how you left out the biggest part of the story Gag City second leg tour in the U.S. begins in September next stop Gag City Milan Italy previous stop Gag City Morocco almost 200,000 beautiful people came out I didn't ask you to do a thing you told me after the fact and I screamed on you and told you if you reach out to people now that you're being seen around me they will think it's coming from me so to never do that again without discussing it with me first i said i never want that and that now she think that message came from me hashtag pink friday nails hashtag pink friday to fragrance hashtag Loki and nikki sneakers highest grossing tour by a female rapper in history currently top 10 in history competing for the top three in history when the tour is done oh barbs i love you so so yes you laughed it off and said her and foxy should come out i said no i'd only want foxy to come out on stage with me she's like family no disrespect god bless everyone and our children let us all do our own thing and thank god for life Stop using my name for clickbait in 2024. We get it. I'm that chick. 
how dare you interviews child oh we this world man this world love yourself deeply now in my opinion i totally agree with nikki for checking deb in public because since you want to be out here doing public interviews discussing me then i'm gonna go ahead and check you in public and let you know where you went wrong and to go behind nikki's back to go ask little kim knowing that kim and nikki really don't get along despite them showing love to each other on rare occasions more so on nikki and why would you go behind Nikki's back to be messy and do that knowing they aren't cool so why would she come on Nikki's tour and why would Nikki even want that so Nikki wasn't wrong Deb was out of line and it is what it is but moving along to the final topic now Cardi B did come out with a message to her fans and to the public to let everyone know that she will be consistent this year and she will be sticking to her plan. Now she did come out to say this on X. I have everything planned, locked and ready to go. Everything I said I would do this year, I'm going to do it. Nothing is going to stop me. I proved myself before and I'm going to do it again. Now rest now despite cardi's songs not sticking on billboard cardi has been consistent this year with dropping singles and most recently she did come out to preview a new single where she is singing in this new song and in my opinion the snippet does not sound bad it does sound like a new cardi it has a lot of heavy auto tune but this isn't the first time we've heard cardi b sing but i do believe this snippet is the best version of cardi b singing that i've heard thus far and apparently this song will be featured on her new upcoming sophomore album and i am interested in seeing what the entire song does sound like because i do like the snippet but sometimes snippets can be a misdirect and the snippet may sound good but the entire song may be trash but i do want to hear it it does seem like cardi is trying to go in a different direction musically but you let me know how you feel about these topics down below thank you again for joining me for another video and until next time bye